Hi, I'm Alan Sugano. I am the president of ADS Consulting Group. And today's topic is on high availability. So what is high availability? Well, one thing that it's not is it's not your backup. It is not your backup. It's not your backup. Did I mention it's not your backup? Because, hey, it's not your backup. So your backup is something completely different. Follow the three, two, one, one rule. Write three copies of your data on two separate media. One copy off-site, one copy offline, hence the one, one. That's, that's separate from high availability. High availability is designed to keep your stuff up and running in the event of a hardware failure. So uh, it's also called fault tolerant uh, clustering, uh, as, as it, it might be known. Typically what it involves is two or more servers uh, or nodes or hosts. Today it's going to be like in VMware, it's going to be ESXi hosts that are in the same logical high, high availability cluster. And the way it works is that if one of the hosts fails, all the VMs uh, will fail over to the remaining host. Um, and so, yeah, there is some downtime involved with that, but typically the VMs will fail over between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on how aggressive you have your HA settings. Uh, also, make sure that if you are in an HA cluster that the, the servers that are left standing, we usually design for N minus 1. So if you have two servers, that means we could tolerate one failure. Or if you have three servers, you could tolerate one failure, N minus 1. Um, make sure that you have enough resources on those remaining servers to be able to power your your uh, VMs up. Uh, you don't want to memory starve your VMs. You don't want to CPU starve your VMs. You don't want to disk IOP your because then you're not going to be able to fail over and have decent performance. So you want to make sure that you have the appropriate amount of resources on the host when you do that failover. Um, we start recommending high availability now for about. Um, 50 users, maybe a little more, maybe a little uh, fewer, depending on uh, what the cost of downtime is. The primary driver for high availability is cost of downtime. So then it's just a simple calculation, right? So we were doing a network review for one client that we estimated their cost of downtime at about 800 users. We estimated their cost of downtime at about 40,000 an hour. So. I said, you will, and that's hard cost. That's straight lost productivity. You will lose $40,000 in productivity if your servers go down. So at that point, if you're down for more than two or three hours, you've paid for the entire cluster. So as, the, as your cost of downtime goes up, it gets easier and easier and easier to, to, uh, to justify the additional cost of high, high availability. Um, some other things with high availability is that it will still cause downtime unless you're running something like a fault tolerant VM, but there is a, a period of time where the servers actually have to fail over and there is a little bit of downtime, but it's usually minutes, not hours or days. Um, also, it's a really good idea if you're thinking about it to, to do it sooner than later. Uh, just, you know, with all the weirdness going on with the coronavirus, sometimes it's hard to source hardware or they don't have this, they don't have that. It's just better to get ahead of that train wreck and not have to get something immediately because uh, you're down and you're down hard. So it's the way that our ADS cloud service is constructed. All of our servers that run in production are highly available. So we, everything that touches production, we have at least two of, in some case, three or four or five. So um, you want to have that redundancy built into your hardware. So that's our tip of the day. If you want more information on high availability or the three to one backup rule or server clustering or a cloud service, you can send an email to info at adscon.com. I'll just put it up here on the screen. Um, and um, we can give you, we'd love to uh, talk about uh, your requirements. Thanks a lot for listening. Uh, hopefully you find this content useful. If you do, please boink, hit that subscribe button and we'll keep making the content and we'll talk to you soon.